Hello, 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 and welcome to another one of our wonderful videos where we show off how amazing our products are. So today we are going to present to you our vacuum and pressure chamber. So this bad boy uh, can do vacuum and can also do pressure. So vacuum, uh, full vacuum uh, up to 75 micron and even more if you have a, the appropriate vacuum pump. And it can also do overpressure of plus 14.7 PSI, which is essentially one atmosphere. Uh, so that's what uh, we have here today. And this should also be considered the part number two of our vacuum and pressure chamber, because about two and a half, three years ago, uh, we showed off another one of our vacuum and pressure chambers. And uh, since three years, I mean, I'm kind of thinking, has it really been that long? Uh, and yeah, it has been, it's, it's been about three years. So, I mean, time flies when you're having fun and when you're building cool products like we do. So it seems like yesterday. Um, you guys will probably hear some train siren in the background, which is of course good because it's warning people. Uh, and I'm thinking it's always better to be warned ahead of time then be surprised by a train so i apologize about the the annoying train siren all right uh moving on let me tell you guys what we have here so we have of course um a vacuum and pressure gauge we have two valves we have a safety pressure relief valve and then we have a eighth inch compression fitting on the lid and then right here we have a quarter inch compression fitting over here like I said, it's better be annoyed than uh, dead by the train. So I apologize about the train siren. And then um, moving on, we have you know four compression fittings on this side. And then we have NW50 or quick flange, uh, vacuum quick flange 50 fittings or ports. And these are blanked off, but you can remove them and then you can attach anything you want on this port. And then finally, we have a drain valve on the bottom. So this is the drain valve. And I forgot to tell you guys, but these ports, uh, these, these um, compression fittings, uh, they are um, feed-throughs. They're actually feed-through ports, meaning that you can connect something here on the outside. And then from the inside, I'll actually, I'll, I'll show you guys better uh, when I remove this lid but from the inside you can actually connect it on the outside and then from the inside i'm not sure if you can see it there we go you can let me all right and then you can also connect it from the inside and so you can run whatever you need to run through uh, liquid or gas um, you can connect it from the outside run it into the inside do your test uh, without ever compromising the vacuum so that's that's something that's really cool about these uh, you know vacuum uh, feed-throughs and these compression feed-throughs so um, of course since this is um, this chamber has pressure capabilities what um, we need are of course thumb clamps and remember three years ago we had about seven thumb clamps per lid per side not per lid um, now we have four uh, we have four because our lid is a little bit thicker and we have just done um, a lot of uh, R&D research and development to actually improve our design and to make our clamps a lot better uh, than they used to be. And that's essentially our philosophy that we're always uh, improving, we're always uh, making sure that we do things better and that we always um, you know, build better products for you. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, these thumb clamps are not um, too tightened. So I'm just going to remove them and notice how they get out of the way right here and then here we go and remove them and then I'm going to remove the lid and how I'm going to remove the lid I'm probably going to put this camera this is actually a you guys probably noticed this is a phone camera I'm probably going to have to put the phone on the side or whatnot and uh all right, that's what we're gonna do. Hang with me, guys. All right, I'm gonna put the phone right here. So, all right, oh, oops, sorry about that. 
I'll bring you guys back. Looks like the phone. All right, here we go. Welcome back. So here is the lid, I kind of removed it. And you can kind of see how everything kind of gets out of the way, how the clamps are hanging down here. Um, and then of course, our wonderful design and beautifully and robustly built chamber, acrylic vacuum and pressure chamber. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna show you how this is a oh, feed through fitting. You see this? So you can connect on the inside and from the outside, right here, just like that. So, there you guys have it. Our robustly designed and quality built and um, just amazing vacuum chamber and pressure chamber. So that's what it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid back on, show you how simple and easy it is to put the lid back on. Um, and just put these clamps back on and then you guys notice this is already on a crate Because this is this is ready to be packed and shipped off to another one of our happy customers. So um, Hang hang on. I'll hang hang in with me here because I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Put the lid back on and oh notice Notice this this is actually our glued wall. So you were looking at the glued wall and this is actually through the wall so you guys fall off the cliff again. Sorry about that. All right, there we go. Oh, oh nice. This time you didn't fall off. Okay, there we go. So we'll just put these clamps on and you just clamp them this way. You just essentially, their thumb, you can clamp them by your hand and should provide you sufficient clamping power to pressurize this chamber to about 15 PSI and ab about 15, so 14.7 to be exact. Um, and if you ever accidentally overpressure it, do not worry because this is a safety pressure relief valve that's set to 15 and it's gonna open and relieve the pressure. And of course with all of our um, vacuum chambers, uh, we also feature our dovetail o-ring roof, which is so cool because it's going to keep the o-ring inside and it will also prevent it from falling out. So um, that's pretty much it. So here we go. And let me see, because we have this guy on wheels, on little dollies. So I'm gonna rotate it and I can kind of kind of show it off from all sides. You see, you notice, and you can kind of see the drain valve here on the bottom. And then on this side, this side is just the wall. All right. And then here is this wall. We just have one through feed through fitting, compression feed through fitting. And then here, there we go. We're back to the way we started. So um, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys have any questions, uh, comments, um, you know, feel free to uh, give us a call, email us, uh, contact us, and we will be happy to hear from you. And uh, of course, make sure to like and subscribe because that motivates us and give us, gives us energy to make more videos for you guys and to show off more of our amazing products. So uh, next up, we have some more um, leak testing systems. So of course, uh, be sure to check our channel. So thank you guys very much and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.